Hello, my name is Lucia and today I'm going to show you the top 10 homemade metal lathes. A lathe is a machine that's used to shape metal and wood. Lathes are used for turning, facing, grooving, parting, threading, drilling, boring, knurling and tapping operations. This versatility makes the lathe indispensable in modern industry and the modern world in general. The lathe is one of the earliest machine tools invented by man. As early as the 13th century BC, lathes were used by ancient Egyptians and Greeks to shape articles and tools of the day. Lathes have come a long way from the first manually powered bow lathes to today's CNC machines. Modern lathes are capable of complex turning processes that the ancient toolmakers could only dream of. There are several types of lathes, but in this video we're going to feature the basic analog machine shop metal lathes on YouTube that we find interesting. We will cover CNC lathes in future videos since they are in a class of their own. A quick disclaimer. Our choices here are just based on our subjective opinion. In choosing the lathes, we selected those that are well-built, easy to construct and or inexpensive to make. Please note that this is not a tier of ranking video, since there is no hard and fast rule for determining which homemade lathe is the best there is. With that out of the way, here are the top 10 unique homemade metal lathes built by toolmakers on YouTube. It would be appropriate to start off our list with the most popular homemade lathe design, the gingery lathe. First published in the 1980s, David Gingery's book Build Your Own Metal Working Shop from Scrap is as popular as ever among machinists and hobbyists alike. Cressel Anderson's iteration of the Gingery lathe is one of many and one that really stood out to us. In his 17-part video, Cressel details his journey building the iconic machine. The procedures outlined in the book called for casting of the bed, carriage, tailstock and faceplate from aluminium. Cressel cast the components using a charcoal foundry designed by Gingery. He proceeded to fabricate the remainder of the lathe from steel. With the amount of labor put into it, it's no surprise that the resulting machine would make Mr. Gingery proud. Another famous lathe design is the concrete lathe. The first concrete lathe was developed during the First World War as an alternative to all metal lathes when steel was reserved for the water port. As it was then, concrete is inexpensive, abundant and easy to work with. This makes the material an excellent substitute for steel in making homemade lathes. Of several concrete lathe builds, Kurt van Filipowski's version caught our eye. Using plans from Pat Delaney, who brought the forgotten design back to light, Kurt's concrete lathe features a reinforced concrete lathe bed, headstock and saddle. He then mounted a second-hand 1.5 horsepower motor to drive his machine. The rest of the lathe components were fabricated from steel and aluminium. If you have a limited budget or lack access to steel, this one's for you. Next up is a mini lathe from SEC Austria. The lathe is one of many homemade tools and machines built by the prolific toolmaker. As with his other builds, this lathe is made from steel stock, off-the-shelf components and recycled parts he had on hand. The bed and the ways were fabricated from angle iron and steel plates. To keep the lathe accurate, SEC adopted the popular linear rail and bearing block approach for the ways and the carriage. The machine is driven by a washing machine motor that SEC found in his stash. Uncomplicated to build, accurate and capable, this lathe has all the must-have qualities of a homemade lathe. In contrast to the previous machine, the next metal lathe was mostly built from the ground up. Watching Jorn, aka Homemade Madness, transform chunks of steel into a beautiful piece of machinery is incredible. Few people have the patience and the courage to build such a complex machine bit by bit with just a few power tools. Jorn fabricated each part from I-beams, steel plates and bar stock. He also built a metal cutting table saw and a grinding jig to help him shape the steel. Jorn hooked up a treadmill motor together with its speed controller to power the machine and control spindle speeds. He then added an electronic lead screw for good measure. Needless to say, building this lathe requires a lot of elbow grease and it's only for those who want a truly hands-on approach to making their own lathe. Up next on our list is a lathe by Made in Garage. Built from channel steel, angle iron, box tubing, steel plate and hardware found in every hardware store, this light-duty lathe can turn plastic and soft metals with ease. The construction is pretty straightforward. Channel iron bed, angle iron ways and a tool holder fashioned from box tubing. What stood out from this lathe is its rather simple carriage. 
the builder was having trouble sourcing components locally and overseas. To solve the problem, he constructed a cross-slide feed mechanism using a single threaded rod and a coupling nut welded to the carriage base. The carriage feed and cross-slide may be downright simple in construction but sufficient for light turning operations. Living near a scrapyard is a DIYer's dream. There is plenty of stuff just waiting to be transformed into something useful. Roland Van Roy happens to live in an area where high-tech equipment like pick-and-place machines and industrial printers are manufactured. He built this neat lathe and later added a vertical milling attachment and a digital dividing head. The stepper motors lie near guide rails, lead screws and motors were straight out of the scrap heap. Using his experience in building flight simulators, Roland designed an electronic speed control for his machine. He fabricated the bed, headstock and other bits and pieces of the lathe from steel and aluminium. If you happen to have access to a nearby recycling facility or have the parts mentioned just sitting in your storage, cobble one up. The next machine is a micro lathe from Vyacheslav, whose channel name Homemade Lathe Machine bears the name of the machine he proudly made. He designed this little lathe to turn small plastic parts as well as aluminium and other soft metals. This tiny lathe was built from cast aluminium and a few bits of steel. Vyacheslav used a high-speed motor to drive a drill chuck that holds the workpiece. Later on, he added a speed controller and wired a vacuum cleaner speed control board to the lathe's motor. Intended for turning small parts, this lathe is perfect for hobby machinists. The point of going the homemade route is to have a capable machine as cheap and as easy as possible. In most cases, one needs to avail oneself to off-the-shelf parts to make things easier. And that's exactly what Joe Marie, aka Let's Learn Something, did when he built his neat lathe. Using linear rail shaft rods for the lathe ways and carriage, Jo Marie made a lathe that's simple yet very precise. He made the bed, headstock and other components from steel and slept in a 1.5 horsepower motor to drive the machine. What's interesting is that this amazing machine was constructed using basic tools like the drill press, welder and a few hand tools. Very few people have the patience to build their lathes from scratch. In most cases, the most common and ideal approach is to use ready-made components and fabricate stuff as little as possible. Resourcefulness is what defines this lathe built from Cheldon's. Working in his garage, Cheldon built his homemade lathe from car parts and a few odds and ends he had in the shop. What's interesting about this build is that he fabricated his own chuck from a drive pulley and pieces of steel. He also used the partly built lathe to turn the handles. It's amazing to see what one can do by turning junk car parts into an essential shop machine. Skipping our list is this full-size lathe from Dexter 144. Using the tried and tested linear rails configuration for the ways and carriage, the German hobbyist created a lathe that looks straight out of a catalog. In his nine-part series, Dexter showed us how to build a homemade lathe with his emphasis on precision. Dexter's lathe has all the bells and whistles – a variable feed drive, a power feed and digital reduce. He fabricated most of the lathe from raw steel stock and used the half-built machine to make a few of its components. And he's not done yet. Dexter is contemplating making more attachments and improvements to his already decked out lathe. Please let us know in the comments section about other lathe builds that are truly unique in your opinion. We'll feature those undiscovered gems in future videos. Comments are most welcome. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and feel free to drop by our forums at homemadetools.net where our community members discuss and share homemade tool plans, guides, tool building tips and other DIY related content. Thanks for watching, I'm your host Lucia and I'll see you on our next installment of 10 best homemade tools. Bye bye!